Hello. This week we're going to talk about uh, the various words and phrases and verbs associated with finding things, searching for things. So I'm just going to go through the the phrase uh, one more time. The English phrase. I'll say the English phrase first, and followed by the Mandarin phrase. First phrase. Where's Gabriel? Gabriel, 在哪里 Gabriel is here. Gabriel, 在这里 Gabriel is there. Gabriel, 在哪里 Search for Gabriel. 找 Gabriel. Cannot find Gabriel. 找不到 Gabriel. Found it. 找到了 Okay, let's go through the vocabulary for、uh, this week's lesson. First of all, um, 在在 means um. It indicates location or a state of action, an ongoing action. Um, if you say, "I'm reading," you would say, "我在看书 I'm reading a book. 我在看书 So in this case, 在 indicates a state of an ongoing action, what you're actually doing right now. So 在 can also mean in this lesson. Uh, a location. It, in English, it kind of means、uh, at, but in Spanish, you can think of it as、uh, the the verb estar. So it kind of indicates a an action or a state of being or a state of action. And the word where in Mandarin is 哪里哪里 So you say. 哪里呢 Nali.、Mm-hmm. Uh, the word here is 这里 The word there is 哪里 Now you notice the difference between 哪里 and 哪里哪里 is where, but 哪里 the first character is、uh, the fourth intonation 哪 means there. I know it sounds very subtle for a non-native Mandarin speaker, but it actually sounds the world difference. It means the world difference to、um, a Chinese speaker. So listen very carefully. Where is 哪里 There is 哪里 Okay, and then to find the word to find is 找找 and Found it. 找到到 is just doesn't really have any particular meaning on its own, but it just kind of、um, it means an action that has reached the end or you finished doing something. 到找到了 it means you found it because in Chinese there's no conjugation, there's no past, future tense or whatever.、Um, so you have to add additional, use additional words to indicate. Whether the action is completed or it's ongoing, that's what the word "sign" is for. It's, an, it's basically like "ing" reading. So instead of conjugation, you have various other words that indicate、uh, um, to kind of add subtle connotation to to the verbs. So you actually know whether the verb is ongoing or finished or something that you've already done. Okay. So have fun practicing. Bye bye.